Let's have a look at the Network Sims package. It's built around the core areas of Cisco certification, checkpoints, Juniper, and a few other areas such as ethical hacking and CISSP. There's a number of tests that are valuable, some videos, and also there's some fun activities along with uh, an enhanced toolkit. So let's have a look at uh, some of the Cisco certification. So each of the certification areas is built up with a number of challenges. So in this case we'll activate the first router challenge. So when we pull this up we should see a whole series of parameters that we set. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start to configure the device. Zero. So anytime we can press the question mark to get some help, we can exit from a level. So we'll go back and configure the E0 interface. So in this case, we need to set up an IP address of this 179.2 and then a subnet mask 255.255.252.0. And we will shut down on the interface to bring it up. Give it a description, speed, and so on. So we go through the, the challenge and we will be told if we're correct or not. And at the end of the challenge, it will give us the time that we've taken to do it. Anytime we can show the running config, we can have a look at the version of our device. We can show the history, copy it to the clipboard if we require. Look at the requirement. So in the requirement we should see the commands that we can use and also the help that's available. We can capture if we want. Uh, we can even show the solution in some cases. And get a demo of the actual simulation itself okay so that shows an example and we can go through the, the challenges we also have a switch simulator so in the switch simulator we can go to back to the CCNA and find an example of uh, our of a switch simulator. So we find a basic switch. Okay, we we'll see it's a different colour now. We can look at the re the requirements for it. In this case, we have to set a description for FE zero one. So again, we can set up our interfaces, the description that we require, and so on. And again, we can look at the run and config of the switch, show the version. We can even start a new challenge if, if we don't like the one that we're on. Okay, so that's shown the switch simulator. Let's now have a look at the PIX ESA simulator. So for that we need to look at the security links. Have a look at this one. The, the simulator supports both PIX and ESA within the same simulation engine. So we can see in this case we have PIX device, shows us our running config. And in later versions of PIX we have a hierarchical configuration. 
so we can actually go into our interfaces now just as we do with our sort of and we can now set up our IP addresses 255.255.254 and so on so we can show our running config again so you can see the parameters that we've just set there for our E1 interface Short history, view the requirements. We can see here there's version 6, and we can also get the same for version 7 and version 8. Okay, so we'll go back to the main window again. Uh, so we also have Juniper, we have wireless Aeronets. So let's try a wireless challenge. Okay, so here is our wireless access point. Let me just set the host name and so on. So run config is shown in here. Uh, for setting our radio port and an Ethernet port. Again, we can look at the, the wireless settings that we have for our Aeronet. Go back to the main window again. Okay, so we've looked at our router simulator, switch wireless. Now uh, let's have a look at our Juniper simulator. Okay, so often we can see a demo of the challenge that we're going to do. So in this case we'll have a look at one of the early ones. So it's challenge three here. Okay, CLI configure show and and so on. So if we want, we can use the standard window here for our Juno simulator. Set system and so on. Okay, so we also have the EC2, Amazon EC2 cloud, and some various other things like ESDM and uh, the wireless controller.